I want to pick back up where I left off uh, doing videos for SDR play equipment uh, or hardware. This time around, uh, I want to hit the RSP Duo and sh show how to use the dual tuner feature with some of the uh, programs here in Dragon OS LTS. What I've found is uh, uh, you can run a, an instance of, say, Sig Digger uh, on a master tuner with another instance of Cubic SDR on the slave uh, or uh, two instances of GQRX. So to do that, we want to make sure that uh, Soapy sees our SDR play equipment, and you can see that it does, and it lists the RSP Duo there. And sometimes the order does seem to matter. So let's do, for example, let's do Sig Digger. We'll let Sig Digger find uh, the SDR play equipment. Now, if this were to open up, and it typically does when you've opened it the first time, and it's, you know, the top of the screen is or the top of the GUI is up off the screen, you can just right click, maximize, and um, you'll be able to see all the settings there. So if we click settings, we're going to see we do see the master and single du uh, dual tuner. Everything looks fine. But what I want to do, and what seems to make the most sense, at least in this example, would be to let's use one, t let's use one tuner as the panoramic spectrum view and we'll make sure we'll hit that as master you'll notice that uh, my device gains are back to looking like uh, what they'll look like when you install the ISO uh, this is a fresh install of uh, Dragon OS LTS so I don't have some of the patches I was messing with that um, basically seeks to make some improvements in the way uh, soapy SDR play uh, works with the equipment as far as gains and we'll leave the scan range uh, kilohertz to 2 gigahertz the full device range we could uh, up this here let's raise that I'll, I'll leave the sample rate alone and so say we have one radio or one tuner running this we can then open up now this this definitely uses a little bit of uh, processing, I guess you'd say. But let's open up under Education, Cubic SDR. Now we'll see that Cubic SDR sees the slave. Go ahead and select that. And so now we have two instances uh, in, in a different application, one being the uh, master on Sig Digger and then the slave and cubic SDR. Now I've found that if you try to run two instances of Sig Digger, it just doesn't play nice. Uh, and uh, so that, at least in my testing, uh, did not work. But uh, you can run two instances of cubic SDR. So let's take a look at that. And keep in mind, when you shut these programs down, you want to shut the one down that's uh, running the slave first. So let's stop this. If you did it the other way around, you may end up into a, an issue where you would uh, have messed up the API. And you might need to restart it. And you'll definitely know that if you were to run the Soapy Utility again and it's hanging and not finding the equipment. Uh, but typically a restart of the API will fix that. So let's look at the other example here of using the uh, two instances of Cubic SDR. So we'll load it up. We'll see it sees the equipment. We'll pick Master. We have one, inst one instance running. We'll come to Cubic SDR again. We'll see that it sees the slave. And 
and now we could tune to completely different uh, uh, frequencies on the second tuner and everything seems to play nice with uh, two instances of cubic SDR and the dual tuner feature of the RSP duo. Now, if you follow along here and you find that you click in this area up at the top here to start cubic SDR and it's freezing or crashing after you've just installed Dragon OS LTS, make sure you watch the uh, newest install video I, I put and it'll show most likely what is wrong and how to fix it. And that is, uh, as a reminder, you may find that you need to uh, rebuild your liquid DSP and uh, and then that seems to clear up any issues. I haven't tried anything else in terms of dual tuners. Um, trying to think what else might uh, you might be able to do something if uh, if you rebuilt the RTL SDR that I, or I'm sorry the uh, RTL 433 that I showed in uh, another video. But uh, I don't want to go too far in depth. That's just showing you some uses of the SDR play, uh, or in this case, the RSP duo and how to use its uh, dual tuner feature uh, within Linux anyways. All right, thank you.